Are you ready to start earning income online selling Canva templates, but you find it complicated and you don't know how to create a Canva template? Don't worry, I got you. Today I'm going to show you an easy Canva template that anyone can create, even if you're just getting started with Canva and you have little to no design skills. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach you how to create and sell digital products using online business tools. If that sounds like you, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can join the boss tribe. Now today I'm going to show you step by step on how to create a business thank you card template and how to prepare that template to share on your online shop. This is a super easy Canva template that you can create. The ideal customer for this type of template or digital product are small business owners who sell physical products. They can edit and customize the business thank you card template and they can include that thank you card in their packaging that they send out to their customers. So let's go ahead and switch over to my computer screen so I can show you how easy it is to create this type of digital product. To get started, you will need to have a Canva account. You can use a Canva free account. You no longer need to have the Canva Pro account to generate a template link to share as a digital product. From the Canva homepage, you want to go to the search bar and type in thank you card. Canva will generate some thank you cards and you can use this as a design inspiration, but you are not allowed to take a pre-existing Canva template, make a few changes and sell it as your own. This actually goes against the Canva's license agreement. To get started, we're going to click on create blank thank you card. And for this thank you card, I'm going to create a front and back. So I need two pages. So I'm going to click add page here at the bottom. So for the front page, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm just going to change the background color and add some thank you text. So to change the background color, I'm going to go to the top toolbar, click on this icon to change the background color. You can click the plus sign to add a color. If you have a hex code, you add your hex code, or you can move this circle around to change the color. I already have a color I want to use, so I'm going to click on that. To add my text, I'm going to go to the left toolbar and click on text. I'm going to add this font and I'm just going to simply type thank you and I want to change this color to white. So again, I'm going to click the icon up here that says text color and then I'm going to click white and I actually want to make this larger. You can make your text larger by dragging out the corners or by using this option here on the text toolbar at the top. Okay, Once I get it the size that I want, I'm going to make sure that it's centered. So I'm going to go to position and select center and now that it's centered, I'm going to add Add some more text. I'm going to use this smaller text font here. I'm going to change this to thank you for your purchase. And I'm going to just put it here, maybe space it out just a little bit. And to make sure that this is also centered, I'm going to hit position again and hit center. And now our front page is done. So we can scroll down to the second page. And I actually want to use this thank you again. So I'm actually going to right click, hit copy, and then I'm going to go to the second page and hit paste. Now you may not see it because it's white on white, but you know that it's there because of this purple frame. So I'm actually just going to go up here to the top and change this color to the pink color that we use up front. Change it to the pink color that we use on the front page. Probably make it a little bit smaller and place it here at the top. Now I want to add a thank you message. So I'm going to go back to my toolbar option and click add body of text and want to just type in a thank you message. And once I have my thank you message, I'm going to add this a little bit here. I'm going to make this a little smaller. So next I'm going to add this, the discount code. So I'm actually going to duplicate my text bar and I'm just going to write discount code in both this section of it and then just place it right there. Next I'm going to add some social icons. So as a way for the customer to follow the business owner online. So I'm going to go to elements. And I'm going to just search the icons that I want to add by clicking in the search toolbar and searching for those different icons and then click on graphics. And you just want to make sure that you are using the free graphics. If you decide to use a pro element in your template, your customer will need to have a Canva pro account or they will need to pay for that element. Avoid that hassle. I always suggest that you only use the free elements. So I'm going to click this one and I'm going to just add a few more. Okay. Once you've added your social media icons, you want to click on each icon and change the color. This will just help make it a little bit more cohesive. 
cohesive and to a quick tip to make sure that they all are aligned you want to highlight your social icons click on position and select tidy up and that will make sure that they are aligned let's also group these and center these as well so i want to add a few more design elements and then we're going to be done with this thank you card i want to call, add a call to action to follow us on social media so i'm going to add my text and put follow and the last thing I want to do is add the website name. So I'm actually going to add a shape just as a border for the bottom. So I want to add this at the bottom. I'm going to just drag it here to the bottom. And then I'm going to change the color to our pink code that we're using. Then I'm going to go back to the text at body of text and this is where they can type in their website so i'm going to put a text place holder here dot your website dot com and then change this color to white and i think you card is done so you want to next go to the top and change this to thank you card the next step is to download these as an image to kind of create a mock-up to show customers what they are receiving so to do that you want to go to share click on download and you want to make sure that it says PNG here at the top and then you can select all pages just keep in mind if you select all pages it's going to download it as a zip file or you can download it one at a time whichever one you choose to do and then you click on it and hit download it's going to download so after you download your images the next step is to actually generate your template link that you're going to share with your customers to do that you want to go back to the share button here at the top and you want to make sure you find template link. If you don't see template link here, you want to click on more and type in template here in the search bar and a template link will appear. So once you generate your template link, you want to make sure that you copy that link. The next step is to create a PDF to embed our template link. And this will allow us to share it with our customers. To do that, let's go back to our thank you card templates and create another blank thank you card. So click on blank thank you card next you want to upload the photos that you downloaded of the thank you card template that you created the next step is to upload your thank you card images to do that you want to go to the left hand toolbar click on upload and then click upload files and just find where you downloaded your files and it will add it to the canva editor next let's add some text well, i'm going to add a thank you for your order text and we're going to keep this simple and just for branding purposes i'm going to use the same pink that we used in the thank you card so i'm going to go to the top here add my pink and then i'm going to add some more text and i'm going to make this a little bigger and i'm just going to type edit your template and i'm going to keep this here i'm going to highlight this text i'm going to go to the top and click on the link icon it looks like a little paper clip and then you're going to paste your template link that you copy this will embed the template link into your pdf and now you just want to add the images to the pdf by clicking on the images and just kind of making it look like thank you cards so i actually want to add a shadow just to give them a little bit of depth so i want to click on each image go to edit image click add shadows and click drop shadow and you see it gives it a little bit more depth so it doesn't really blend in with the background i'm going to do the same thing for the other image and i'm just going to align everything so next you want to download this as a pdf so you want to go to the top right hand corner select share select download change the file type to pdf standard and hit download and once you download it as a pdf you are ready to start selling your thank you cards as a canva template you will simply just upload your pdf to your online shop okay boss friends so that was an easy quick tutorial on how you can create a business thank you card so you can start selling canva templates online and earning income online if you found this tutorial useful and helpful make sure that you hit that like button and if you want to see more tutorials like this where I teach you how to create Canva templates to sell online let me know in the comments what type of Canva templates you want to see me create and I could possibly turn it into a series here on this channel and to level up your Canva design skills make sure you check out the video that's on your screen until next time guys thanks so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video bye